Brew Your Way is the theme for the 2006 Brew Conference. But it's not about coffee. Brew Conference is about the latest in mobile technology. We're going to be your guide today. My name is Yoi and... My name is China. And let's go and check it out. Come with us. here at the LG booth. I just had to come and talk to this guy because he has the best hair ever. Thank you, thank you. Why, why are you trying to look like Elvis? I, I, you know, I don't mean to. It just, it just, it just happens. This one right here is the V. This is a fantastic phone. That looks awesome, by the way. This phone right here with the keyboard, it's got GPS navigation on it. No way. So if you get lost, you won't get lost. All you go is go onto the uh, VZ Navigator right there and you can find your way anywhere you want to go. Plus, it's also a camera. A video camera. It's got the, the applications for the games in 3D. The Asphalt Urban GT. Check that out. Wow. Look at that. Is that amazing? That's awesome. Isn't that amazing? And you just go. So Debbie from Juice Wireless is going to tell us uh, what their technology is about. Yeah, hi. Um, it's actually a multimedia blogging tool for your cell phone. And you can share pictures and videos instantly with your friends and family. Little demonstration for you. We'll take a quick picture. Smile pretty for the camera. I'm not a very good picture taker, so, oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> so now um, you send the picture, and so what it's doing now is it's automatically uploading the picture we just took to the server. Um, so if you take a look over here, and there we are. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> yeah. So what is the website? It's uh, juicecaster.com. Check it out, juicecaster.com. It's an entertainment out here at the Brew Conference again this year, and it's always been a lot of fun. We've got a lot of great wireless games to showcase this year, and you're going to be the first to uh, see some of the good stuff that's coming out, including Military Madness. Just launched this on Verizon, picked as one of the best strategy games of the year by IGN, and now all you Verizon fans out there can now get the game by your cell phone. So beyond Military Madness, we're also showcasing Bonk right on your cell phone. Check it out. First time he's been coming back in a number of years, so you can only get him on your mobile device. We have a lot of interesting things coming out for it, including enhanced graphics and new game elements, which we haven't announced yet, so check it out. You're going to love it. And of course, where will we be without our fan favorite, Bomberman? Bomberman is coming out every year on mobile with something new, something different. And this year, it's all about racing. Bomberman Kart, right here on your phone. We have a lot of other cool Bomberman stuff coming out later this year on console, from Bomberman 360 to Bomberman on PSP. So, all you fans out there, I know you're jibbling all over. You're going to get your fill soon. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. This is Dave at the San Diego Comic Con. Let's walk around and take a look at all the different things that we can see here. Let's take a look at the biggest collection of freaks, geeks, and fanboys and fangirls. Tree Friends booth right now, and we're gonna find out a little bit about their new TV show that's coming out uh, on G4. So. Hi, <laughs> Happy Tree Friends was started on the internet in the, in the year 2000, and we had a very loyal fan following. So from there, we went from internet shorts to DVDs to merchandise, and now we're in production with the television series. Okay, and now for the for the television series, you know, the web comic was always pretty gruesome and all that stuff. Are they going to actually tone it down for that? or No, um, we work with G4 and they're fans of the show, so luckily we've been able to stay really true to the brand and keep all the violence that everybody seems to love. Um, you know, the show is not simply violent. We do, we, we want to make it funny, we want to make it clever, and um, we think we've really been able to do that even in the longer episodes. Okay, great. Now, when can we expect to see that on G4? That'll come out October uh, on G4, and we're premiering it actually tonight at Comic-Con at 6 o'clock in our panel in room 5AB. So if anybody here wants to come check it out, we'd love to have you there. Great, thank you very much. Hey Chris, uh, so you were the creator of Lilo and Stitch? 
Yes, I, I was, uh, well, I started the whole thing. You started the whole thing? I started okay. the whole thing, yeah. We, can, can you tell us a little bit about that? Just a really quick blurb? Well, yeah, you know, so the, um, it was just a really cool thing. Uh, I was just finishing up Mulan, and um, uh, I hadn't started another project, and it was uh, a, a dinner I had with Tom Schumacher. We sat down, and he said, do you have any movies that you'd like to make? And it was just this amazing opportunity to um, kind of dig around and see if I had any ideas, and I did. I had a, a children's book I had started a long time ago that I had never really finished because I knew that the story was bigger than a book would hold, and I had put that away. I never thought I would do anything with it, but it was about 17 years after that that we had this dinner, and he and had asked me this question. And I thought, you know, there is a story that I might have. And uh, he said, great, we'll get back together and talk about it. And that's where the whole thing started. I, I mentally opened that drawer and pulled it all the, uh, the idea out and just started working on it, and it became that movie. It was neat. That's great. So what have you been doing since then uh, after the movie? Are you working on any new projects? or? Oh, yeah, see I can't talk about my new stuff yet, um, but definitely new, all sorts of new stuff. And um, it's one of those. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, and and my own stuff. <laughs> so um, yeah, lots of new stuff. We can't we can't reveal what it is yet, but uh, lots of good things. Vincent, right? Yes, okay, hi. hi. Nice to meet you. We're here at one of the booths over here at Comic Con, and uh, we nice noticed one of the. One of the bigger booths with a lot of vintage comic books, uh, really big titles up there. You know, you got a whole row of Amazing Fantasies up there, and you know, Fantastic Four. Yeah. Just want to kind of ask you, you know, what's been what's the biggest seller for you so far? Uh, so far, the show the show's young. So right now, I think the copy, uh, the comic book we've sold that probably stands out in my mind the most is a Phantom Lady uh, number 17, which is a classic headlights cover. Uh, people love these these comic books. That's uh, a really interesting character. Most of the comic book is her changing in and out of costume which I guess young guys liked back in the 40s and 50s uh, to, to read and look at. That's probably the best issue that we've sold so far, but we're looking at a lot of people being interested in classic um, uh, first appearance characters like Amazing Fantasy 15, like you can see right here. These gentlemen are looking at the first Spider-Man appearance. Um, Superman number one, Batman number one, Detective 27 action number one. These are the, these are the, the best books from the Gold and Silver Age. So what, what do some of these, the prices of these uh, books go for? You can find uh, an inexpensive copy, let's say for instance, of an Action Comics number one, which is the holy grail of comics, the first appearance of Superman, the most important superhero, I guess, of all time. Uh, a low-grade copy is probably going to run you around thirty-five dollars to $45,000, a low-grade copy, complete. Well, what about, how about say something like the Amazing Fantasy right here? Amazing Fantasies run anywhere from as little as $500 all the way up to $150,000. So they range. Well, great. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a great show. Take care. Since it was Yoi and I's first time in San Diego, it was a great idea for us to take the Old Town Trolley because it's a two hour tour. It was just not possible to see everything in one day. Do you want to go? Have fun. We're Watch at the show. San Diego Zoo, but we don't have time today. Maybe next time, right, China? Yes. I didn't think that taking, like, the trolley, you know, tour requires this much, like, energy. <laughs> so, China and I are going through this old town market to get some cool stuff. So, this is... So this is Old Town in San Diego. It's got a lot of 
sort of the Mexican, South American feel. China, here is the history lesson for you. Old Town San Diego is considered the birthplace of California, well that's because San Diego became the first permanent Spanish settlement in California in 1769. That's right, everything good happened in 69. How do I look? Marvelous. What is that? Okay, that's some scary angel. Is that supposed to be an angel? Ew! Yeah, that's not Look good. at this panda! He is like the boy from Grudge. Yeah, I don't wanna... Okay, you know what? I have to like zoom up. Hon, I have to zoom up because from here it looks like something that shouldn't be in this frame right now. Isn't Seaport Village a casual, comfortable, and a charming place? It's a perfect stop for children to run, snack on a treat, be entertained, or ride the carousel. But it has all sorts of nautical theme. This is really, really cool. Neat little pictures, memorabilia. Wait, what did it say? Unattended children will be sold as slaves. What does that say? Company of nuts and candy. So sexy. <laughs> I bet they're mighty fine. Do you want some? Do you want some candy and nuts? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> what? It's the hot sauce. What? Look, it's the hot sauce. Like the hot sauce from the world. Let's go and check it out. This is some serious wow. business of spicy stuff in this house. Ooh, habanero. Wow. It's got like a little naked piggy with a little, little naked backside. Girl. Rub me the right way. Man, it is sexual up in here. It really is. <gasps> Why is this one called Slap Your Mama? Wait, what? Right here. <laughs> this one. This one right here. Oh, right here. these. Hot legs. Okay, are you interested in anything? Give her, give her the hottest one. Okay. Suicide? This is called oh, Hot Lips no. Suicide a Hot Sauce. Damn. All right, so here we go. All right, well, let's we'll go. Ten bottles All right, you're some water. I know. It looks, um, yeah, one more time. Good on, buddy. I'm not good at this stuff. <laughs> a lot of fun. Very, uh, we have a lot of interesting, um, coming out later this year on console from Bomberman X. And if you love hip hop, then do. Boom. You know the source. Because the source is all things. Hey, dude. Hey. Hey. Right here, man. Right here.